And welcome to another Gaming Stooges list like we, you know, do all the time. Every Happy time. 23, <laughs> all right. I think. Yes, 23 years of Sonic the Hedgehog, and we're going to celebrate by talking about our top 20 favorite Sonic levels. Um, before we start, is there any self-restrictions that you guys imposed on yourselves making these lists, or did you guys just kind of be like, eh, throw that in there, throw that in there? I okay. kind of mostly the latter. I personally my restrictions like. was none of the bad levels, i.e. nothing. Uh, yeah. I had a hard time picking. I don't like. I had a hard time picking, and I realized that most of my favorites are from the console Sonic games anyway. So I just tried to stick to that. Um, I might upload a separate one to my own channel where I just list my favorite handhelds, but that's for another time. So we're gonna go Absolutely. around and we're gonna go in order as we usually do, starting with Jack. And we're going to start from 20 and go up. There are no honorable okay. mentions this time. Nope. Okay. My number 20 and Cloud, I am honest to God. I, I swear to you, I am not messing with you at all. My number 20 is techno. <laughs> See, I actually really like techno bass, and I don't. I I didn't really have any problem with any of the with that too, like you said you did. I tied but, over and over on the last three seconds of the stage. Yeah, it's not that bad. But no, I I like the level because aesthetically it's super unique. It's like super, like it's like you're inside it's a, like a bass level. It's like tr it's like the techno base from Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, and Sonic's going to save Ramona Flowers from Gideon Graves, and, and yeah. <clears throat> but no, it's I, I, I like it aesthetically, and it's got good music, and it's a good time. Sun's up. All right. My number 20 is Metallic Madness from Sonic the Hedgehog CD. I actually really liked, especially in the U.S. version, there's like an eerie kind of atmosphere brought on by the music, and like... It's kind of like, it's different from usual Sock the Hedgehog ending levels, while at the same time it's very samey. It like, it, 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 it's weird. But it's similar because it's, you know, your typical Eggman's base level, but at the same time, it's not like an atmosphere where it's like, oh, you can do it, you're going to kick some ass. This one, it's like, this is extremely scary and creepy, what the fuck is going on? Why? You're going to die! <laughs> but yeah, um... Ooh. I, it's actually my favorite uh, level from Sonic CD, so spoilers, there's no more levels from Sonic CD on my list. How could you? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Justin, number 20. Uh, my, like, we, we decided that if it's kind of like, almost like a mix between the two, it would be the same zone. Um, it would just be a combination of the acts, but my number 20 is Hank Castle slash Mystic Mansion. Because... Spooky. Ooh, spooky. I don't know, I just like the aesthetic. Um, I like the kind of, like, it, it, it's not like, oh, you can't do this because it's just that hard. Uh, it's just like a bit of, like, image trickery, like invisible floors and stuff like that. If you pay attention, it's fine. Uh, a lot of people say that they have problems with it because there's a very malicious homing attack section that you have to do, but I never had a problem with it. Oh, plus, uh, I love the fucking music of Mystic, Ma Mystic Mansion. I... Uh, Mystic or Hang Castle specifically, and I didn't really care. I don't care much for Mystic Mansion, but Hang Castle was super close to being on my list. But nope. Okay. Landed number twenty. My list went away, so. <laughs> oh. oh. I'll make it up then as I it. go. All right. No, uh, bring it back. Oh. Oh, I found it. Never mind, guys. Good. My uh, number twenty is apparently Sleeping Egg Zone from Sonic Chaos. That's one. <laughs> Jack's keeping a tally. I have the total tally of all the games with every list, so if you want to see, I can give it to you. No, I'm 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 tallying how many eight bit or Game Gear Sonic games you have on your list. One, two, three, four. Four four games. Um, really? Four games. Uh, oh four games. One. He's he, he wants to... Two, okay, don't count. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep, keep going on. <laughs> sleep, sleep, sleeping egg. Oh, uh, I don't know. It's like that... Uh, it's a ruin. Like, it's got... I don't know. It's like ruins or something. And it's got egg space on it. I don't know. 
I don't know, I don't know, it's leaking egg zone from Sonic Chaos. Overall, I don't really like Sonic Chaos compared to the other Epic games. It's like the fourth one on the list of the five that matter, even though Sonic Blast doesn't really matter. But I don't know. I kind of like the zone overall. Yeah. All right. Uh, moving I don't on have to much number... to say about most of these. <laughs> moving on to number 19, Jack. My number 19 is... Uh... I guess I'm going to, like, allow myself to use the same rule that Justin used for Hangcastle and uh, Mystic Mansion. My number 19 is Sega Carnival and Sega Illusion from Sonic Riders. Oh, boy. Uh, I really like these levels because they have, like, really good music and they're Sega-themed. And there's a really cool part in Sega Carnival where you jump in the crazy taxi <laughs> then you get out. Oh. It's, it's it, there's there's a lot of cool stuff that goes on. Like you go through like this, in illusion. There's like this weird like ninety degree angle dashing section where you go through like a choo choo uh, choo rocket level. It's it's really cool. All right, my number nineteen is Emerald Coast from Sock Adventure. It's the first stage in the game. Um, I really like the tropical setting, the way that it's presented in this game, as opposed to a lot of other games, especially. Um, it's actually a decent size level, especially for a first level where most levels are usually like that are the first level in the game. They're like a minute long, but this one's actually, it actually stretches on for a while, but it's got a lot of unique scenery. And I like how there's certain locations and memorial, uh, memorable places in the level, like the whale chase or the little lighthouse. And it's just, I don't know. It's just got a lot of really cool stuff that I, it makes it really memorable. All right, Justin. Uh, my number nineteen is Egg Fleet. Um, I, uh, it's the same reason for Hank Castle and Mystic Mansion. I like the aesthetic. Like, it, it's just actually pretty cool to see. Like, because they did something like this with the egg carrier, but this is like for an entire fleet. So just seeing you like jump like, like fucking, who knows how many thousand feet in the air from ship to ship is pretty badass. All right, Landon, number 19. That was another number one that was close to being on my list. Toy Kingdom from Sonic Advance 3. I like that level. Also, also almost Sonic on my Advance. list. It's the only Sonic Advance level from all three games that I remember. Oh, baby. No joke. It's like, I was just like, should I put a Sonic Advance level on here? I don't know. What do I remember about Sonic Advance games? I don't know. Toy Kingdom. Okay. I don't know. I remember it being fun. It, yeah. is, fun. it is a fun level. It is. All right. Number 18, Jack. My number 18 is Marble Garden from Sonic 3 Knuckles. Uh, it's a garden. It's marbles. There's not marbles in it. It's just made of marble. Uh, it's got like a, I don't know. It's just a level that I really enjoy. And the music goes really well with Thriller. <laughs> All right, my number 18 is Crazy Gadget from Sonic Adventure 2. It yeah. is played with Sonic, and it is probably the only one of the few stages in a platformer period that alters the gravity in a way that I actually cared for, and I think the music is kick-ass. I also like how there's like certain set pieces in the level, especially near the end you have these colored blocks that you get to traverse, and then there's that really weird spooky room that's like really dark but it's got like Ooh, light spooky. lights coming spooky. lights that are like on the walls and stuff I don't know it's a pretty crazy level it is crazy gadget and I like it number 18 for Justin uh number 18 is route 99 I'm Sonic Advance 3 that almost made my list uh I just thought uh it's the first level but it's an actually uh it's an actual interesting first level considering it's not like all greenery or some, you know, shit that's usually associated with first levels for Sonic. So I thought it was, you know it was different, it was interesting. And I actually like uh running through it quite a lot. So yeah. Landon number eighteen. It's time for you guys to get mad. Uh my number eighteen is the Asteroid Coaster. From Sonic Colors. Yeah, I like that. I don't have a problem with that. 
Okay. Well, <laughs> your plan, Matt, your plan to get us mad backfired. No, it, it'll get worse. Don't worry. I know. Uh, I know you're okay. not gonna like another one later on, Cloud. Oh. But yeah, I like Asteroid Coaster. I don't know. I like riding a roller coaster. It's it's all roller I remember. Are fucking even though cool. we just did the LP. I'm afraid of roller coasters. We just coasters. did the LP for Sonic Colors, and all I remember is riding a roller coaster. I don't know in space. You're in space and you're riding a roller coaster. What's better than that? <laughs> Probably sex. I don't know. Uh, I'd, I'd have to disagree. All right. Oh, okay. So riding, riding a know. roller coaster in space is better than sex. Sex. Justin. Okay. That's the quote of the night. All right. Uh, okay. So no, number 17. Yes, number 17, Jack. My number 17 is... Sh- Spoilers, uh, the only level from Sonic 2 on my list, Chemical Plant. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm crying inside now. I know. <laughs> and it makes me happy. It gives me a boner. <laughs> but it does I have though. more levels uh, in Sonic 2 than Jack does. Wow. That's something. Anyway, I like, I like Chemical Plant uh, a lot because it's like this... Well, it's a plant... Well, it's not really a plant of chemicals. It's more like a city... Sort of. Uh, the only reason that it's not any higher on the list is because I don't really care much for Act 2 compared to Act 1. And the boss is meh, so. Boy. All right, my number 17 is Oil Ocean from Sock the Hedgehog 2. And I like it because it's a really unique concept for a level um, where it's you have, like, this kind of factory... Out, but you're not. But you're outside the factory rather than inside of it. And there's, the, there's the oil ocean below you. I like how there's these those little things that like, the way that the spring because most of the springs the spring style items in this level aren't actual springs. They're like these little things that like they're plates and they come upward. I really like that. And I also like the little checkerboard pattern kind of balls that shoot you cannons and shoot you different directions. Um, it's also a tricky level, but it's not completely unfair. The only thing I don't really care like about it is those goddamn seahorses, but even then... The seahorses are douchebags. Yeah. They, they, they'll follow you, too. Like, if you think you're away from them, no, they come out of nowhere, and then they just shoot you, and you're just like, where'd that come from? But no, uh, Oil Ocean, levels... Uh, level. My number 17, Justin. Uh, my little, uh, hello? <laughs> my number 17 is Speed Highway. Oh boy. Uh, I, I like the music that goes with it, and, uh, I just, saw uh, like the, it was like one of the first few, uh, city levels that I think I've heard in the, in the series itself, and I think it was actually done pretty well. Um, some of the controls can get a little bit weird when you get to that tunnel area, but that Pretty much just, uh, the only way you get down there is if you just suck. So if you're good at it, you'll probably never see it. So, yeah. And, the, uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say. I, th- I think you covered everything. Yeah. All right. Landon, number 17. All right. My number 17 is uh, Emerald Hill Zone from that one Sonic game with a two by it. Not the oh, other one to be confused Sonic. with. But like the, like the Adventure other 2? Or Advanced 2? Oh. <laughs> or 8-Bit or eight um, bit 2? And none of those have an Emerald Hill Zone. Oh, well. Why not? Whichever one has the Emerald Hill Zone is the one that it, this goes with. I don't know. Um, I don't know what, I don't know Sonic games. So. <laughs> but yeah, it's like Green Hill Zone, but with Emeralds instead. You can get an Emerald in it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, that, that's it, apparently. Um, okay. Jack, number my 16. Number six, my number 16 is Grand Metropolis from Sonic Heroes. Uh, I really like this level. It's because it's... Uh, I don't know. I just like... It's it's got a... It's, oh, and also power plants, I guess, would go along with it because it's, it's Heroes. Um, uh, because in Act 1, I really like the uh, city and like the blue roads that make you go fast and... Act two has some super kick ass music and uh, uh, it's fun. I like it. 
All right, my number 16 is Death Egg from Sonic 3 and Knuckles. It is the last stage in the game, and it's free spoilers. Shh, shh. Except for one thing, but I'm not going to say it. But spoilers. But um, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, it comes to like it comes to like a really big climax a little bit early here, and then Death Egg comes in. And it's got like this kick-ass techno-y music, and it's like got these really tricky platform segments with like electricity and you have to dodge that and then there's anti-gravity and then there's like these things that zip you around I, I don't even know it's like light tunnels or whatever zip 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 bop. but those combined with the bosses that you fight in death egg which were really cool i just i really like death egg and it's one of my favorite final levels in a sonic game uh justin number 16 uh my no my number 16 is ice cap not Ice Cap Zone, Ice Cap. It's Sonic Adventure. Um, I don't know. Like, it, it's one of the few ice levels that I actually enjoy, mainly because there's no actual ice physics to it. Um, it it's a it's a nice little level. It's atmospheric. Um, the various music tracks that play throughout it, I think, fit it really well. And that snowboard the snowboarding section is awesome. So yeah. All right. And Landon, number six. Okay, my number sixteen is Chunan from the Unleashed One. Is that That's Unleashed game, right? Don't you mean that Sonic's Unleashed. World Adventure? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I don't actually. And it's China. Ooh, oh, no. Chinese people. Oh. Is it, now here's the question though: Is it the Wii PS2 version or the 360 PS3 version? Well. With the HD version, I didn't get past the first flying section, so okay. So I'll, I guess so we'll yeah. have to say so, yeah. the Wii version. So yeah, the Wii version. Because <laughs> well, when I unleashed, I popped in the HD version, played through the first level, and then got to that flying section, and I was like, "Nope, I'm done." And that was it. But yeah, Chunan, from China. Because there's people, uh, there's egg ponds in the level that say, "You want egg roll? We got egg roll." <laughs> boob no boob. Yeah. Egg no egg. And uh, yeah. Egg no egg. <laughs> and then um, you ride out. You like walk or you run on the water and the dragon. And then there's Chinese people in the village. And then you kill them. <laughs> you know, this is a Sonic game. And then you, I don't, I'm not counting the werehog sections because I don't remember the werehog sections from that stage. I just remember riding, running on the dragon as Sonic in daytime stages. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. All right. Jack, number 15. We're moving right along. Whoa. 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 Okay. My number 15 is Tropical Resort from Sonic Colors. It's not very tropical at all, actually. It's uh, it's kind of like a <laughs> fuck. I don't know. It's it's a neat level. It's like uh, got welcome to the park. Uh, you got a cool view of outer space. It's uh, I remember looking really cool in the trailers, and I played it. I'm like I like this. This is fun. All right, my number fifteen is Mad Gear from Sonic the Hedgehog Four. It's the only stage. Really? Yes, I'm serious. Ew. I'm what? serious. Um, it is the only stage that I've really liked this much from Sonic the Hedgehog 4, counting both episodes in. Um, it's basically what Metropolis Zone should have been, in my opinion. In other words, not cheap enemy placement, because fuck Metropolis Zone's enemy. <laughs> but um, I really like this stage because it takes every, like, it's kind of like a reimagining of Metropolis Zone, but done in a way that it's a lot more enjoyable and it's a lot smoother to progress through the level and I really like that. It's a really fun stage. Uh, Justin, number 15. Uh, my uh, number 15 is Angel Island Zone from Sonic 3. Uh, as far as first stages go, I actually thought this was the flashiest. It's only because, like, uh, this is, uh, you know, when they started doing the thing where the axe transition, you know, the environment sometimes changes. It's an island. Now it's on fire. <laughs> yeah, I, I like that whole transition from, like, normal greenery to just, oh, my God, everything's on fire. Ah! Uh, yeah, so uh, 
<laughs> and the whole little bombing thing uh, in uh, around Act Two. That's also pretty cool. You know, I, I just like the the set pieces that they started adding in the series uh, after Sonic Two. That was pretty cool. All right, Landon, number fifteen. My number fifteen is Underground Zone from Sonic Two A Bit. All right. Um, because you go underground instead of in a Green Hill zone, you know, like most games start you off with. And um, I like it because, I don't know, it's a fun one to run through, and it's an easy one to grind lives in if you need lives, you know, for later on the game, because guess what? You get no rings in boss fights. Yeah, oh, that's baby. fun. That's always fun. Yeah. And it always freaked a uh, cloud out when I went through walls. Oh yeah, and I remember that. I was like, like that How first are you one. Doing this? I just, I just jump up there, and then like, there's an extra life. And I'm like, yep, look at that, guys. I found an extra life, and then he's freaking out. I was like, also, I, <laughs> I also uh, actually do like the uh, the boss fight in that one because all you have to do is stand in place and then jump, 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 jump a couple times, and then um, you win. Even though, like, when I was doing the LP, I forgot about that at first. So, yeah. like, I was jumping all around and then dying. And that would be it for Underground Zone from Sonic 2 8-Bit. Your count becomes up to two now, Jack. Oh, yeah. All right. And, uh, Number yeah. 14, moving right along with Jack. Number 14 is Launch Base from Sonic 3 Knuckles. Oh, baby. It's, um... Uh, really cool level with, uh, it's like, I like it because it's like just about to get on the death egg and it's like, oh man, we're at Eggman's base. It's like, shit's getting real. We go fight Eggman soon, but then we don't. Well, we do, but yeah. Uh, it's, it doesn't end. and, uh, and then it has sexy, sexy music. Oh, it, my dick. I will admit, I felt like the launch base music sounded a lot like... Crash Bandicoot music, in a good way. Oh, okay. Well then. Oh, my turn now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know this. It was my turn. Uh, number my number fourteen is Speed Highway from Sonic Adventure. Um, before I go on about this level, which I really liked, I do want to mention that another thing that I decided to end up doing was, um, I was having a hard time picking between like. I wanted to place like one version of a certain level higher than another one, and then I decided that I would just pick like if the level has the same name and it's supposed to be based on the same level to just pick a certain version of it. Um, so this is my favorite version. I prefer this one over the Generations one, and I like Speed Highway because it's got groovy kick-ass music and it is like it's got cool moments where you're like running down a large building. And I like, there's one segment in this version of the level that is not in the Generations um, rem like kind of retelling, which is where you get to go through a little part of the city. And Tails has his own segment of Speed Highway that I thought was really fun, and the fact that Knuckles gets to hunt the emeralds in the city, which when the emerald hunting, you know, wasn't jank and shit. But yeah, I like Speed Highway. Oh, baby. Oh, okay. Nice, nice mix of things. Jank and shit. Jank and shit. I can admit when, when the flaws in my, one of my favorite Sonic games, Sonic Adventure 2 is one of my favorite Sonic games, but fuck the Emerald Hunting. Anyway, that's a story for another day. Man. <laughs> You're a horrible person. Justin, number 14. Uh, Starlet Carnival. <laughs> um, can I go now as well? <laughs> oh god, both of you have the same one in the same slot. <laughs> All right, yeah. Ahead, if, yes. if, if, if you, yep, okay, you guys can both just just have a small conversation about it then. <laughs> Good old circle jerk. <laughs> jerk right all over it. So, it's colorful, it's flashy, um, there's a lot of shit going on. Um, got my favorite part of any Sonic game, Auto Run. I don't like playing Sonic games. I'll let the <laughs> game play it for me. But uh, it's definitely the most aesthetically pleasing to me, like, out of 
a lot of the modern Sonic games. I think that one's actually one of my favorites. I'll agree uh, with that. Actually, I think you have that either. Yes, I'll have to agree with that. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, that's both because uh, the rest of my list. <laughs> I'm just looking over the rest of my list, and uh, well, that's the last modern Sonic game, technically. Oh. Yeah. All right, so that's uh, that's both of your number 14, Starlight Carnival. So we'll just yeah. skip right over to Jack for number 13. Oh, 13. Okay. That was cool. my, number, my number 13 is Angel Island Zone from Sonic Advance. Baby. Not the Sonic. Yeah, the... I know what you're I actually, talking about. Yeah. I actually, uh, I don't know. I just, uh, there's just something that I really enjoy about, like, the sort of, like, greenery temple area in, in games. It's just it's just aesthetically pleasing to me and it's just a really fun level to play through. It's got some good jams. Actually, I don't remember the jams at all, but <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good level. I like it a lot. Uh, my number 13 is Spring Yard from Sock the Hedgehog 1. I like Spring Yard because it's got like a jazzy atmosphere to it and it's got a lot of cool um, it's got a cool level design cool set pieces. Um, one thing I really like about it is that there's one part in a, I, it might be a couple of the levels, where there's like this blue armadillo thing that kind of looks like Sonic color wise, and he just like rolls right up behind you and he's like, sup dog, I'm pretending to be you, what's up? And then just rolls away. But I like that, I like the the platforming and the segments and the the fact like the different routes that you can take in Spring Yard Zone, I actually it's one of the zones that I more distinctly remember the multiple pathways in because I've played it quite a few times and enjoyed it being able to go di the different ways like some levels I play it and I take this one route and I'm like I don't really like this route so I'll try to avoid it at all costs and just take a different route but Spring Yard Zone I'll be like I feel like going this way this time it's a really fun stage. Uh, Justin, number 12. I mean, 13. Wow. <laughs> 13. Uh, my number 13 is Emerald Hill Zone. Um, yeah, it is very green hillish, but I think it's a little bit more, I don't even know if I can say complex, but at least there's a little bit more to it than what Green Hill Zone had. I think it's a little bit of a, a better start for a Sonic game than Green Hill Zone was, despite the fact that a lot of people praise that level up and down just because it's from the original game but whatever um the music um if, if there's one thing i like about emerald hill zone more than green hill zone uh it's definitely the, the uh the music that goes with it because i thought green hill zone was a little bit too i don't know like uh, too slow like it sounded like it was trying to put you to sleep instead of like excite you so yeah i like that one also uh I just wanted to point out that Emerald Hill's name is a complete lie. Those hills are not emerald at all. <gasps> no, they're not. The other ones, they'd all be green. They're sapphire. <laughs> okay. The rocky road. Well, I guess it's my turn for number 13, which yeah. is the start of the end, I guess. You guys are going to cry. Um, mm -hmm. Well, not really. It doesn't really matter. I hate myself. I'm going to go die. Here be. Okay. Cool. All right. I don't know what that was, but it was a sound effect of some sort. Anyway, my number 13 is Eggman Winterland's Zone from Sonic and Tails 2. That's a, that's a good one. I like zone. that one. Yeah. Robotnik Winter Zone from Sonic and Sonic Triple Travel. Um, cool thing, um, when you're playing as Sonic, you get a snowboard. Oh boy. Fuck yeah. And then when you're playing as Tails... Well, you just get to fly faster. I don't know. Fuck that shit. But it's a fun one to run through, and you get to fight Gintu at the very end. So, you know, there's a penguin throwing other penguins at you that are bombs. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Um, I always like it because it's the first one I get to play through all the way through, and I don't have to worry about um, collecting emeralds, because I always collect my emeralds in the first three stages, so I get bad out of the way whenever I play Sonic Triple Travel. But um, also, it's got some dick areas, too. Some, like, <laughs> some like floating areas that you have to avoid spikes. Springs that lead you into spikes. Spikes <laughs> that lead you into spikes. Spikes are <laughs> everywhere. Fuck that. But, no, it's still fun. I like it. I like running through it. 
Hell yeah. Robotnik Winter Zone. Triple Trouble. Number All right. 13. All right, Jack, number 12. 12. Never mind. My number 12 is Ice Cap from Sonic Adventure 1. Uh, it's... Uh, oh, yeah, ice level. First, yeah, <laughs> it's the only it's the only ice level on my list. Um, it's yeah, I basically anything Justin said, but uh, he didn't talk much about the snowboarding section, and uh, that snowboarding section it's just so good. That music is fantastic. I love it so much. So fun. My my dick. <laughs> All right. My number 12 is actually something Landon mentioned earlier. Uh, Dragon Road Chunnan from Sonic Unleashed for the Wii, uh, specifically. The reason why I picked um, this, and this is, spoiler alert, this is my favorite level from all of Sonic Unleashed on either version. I decided that when I was judging the Sonic Unleashed levels that I felt I needed to judge the whole because if I was just like saying, oh, this is just, I'm going to pick just this specific thing, like, I wanted to judge it as a whole. And I actually will admit, I enjoyed the Werehog levels of this one level on the Wii version only. It's got really oh, beautiful. It was good. I, it, I forgot. Yeah. Um, the Dragon Road has, in both segments, beautiful scenery, really nice music. It's got a really nice aesthetic to it that. It's it like the or you know the Chinese. Or oh yeah, that's that that's the one with the waterfall section, isn't it? Yes, it has. That's like the only that's like the only section of either of the games for the Werehog that I actually like. Yes, that is actually one of the reasons why I like uh, Dragon Road. Um, it, one of the assist, one of the re, one of the many reasons. Um, Dragon Road's just really well put together, and especially in the um, the Wii version, one of the reasons why I like it is because it's the Wii version. It ha the Wii version typically has one act for each of the Sonic, uh, for each of the day stages. But the way, th and then there's like several missions. But the missions that are like in Dragon Road, they're kind of, even though they're like, you have to accomplish a mission, the levels, a lot of them, are actually pretty different. Um, there was this one where you, you can't take damage, and it's in a totally different part of the level that I don't think you can ever access from the main day stage, which I thought was really cool, the fact that you could have like these this bonus segment to play, and I kind of consider it an, another level with a specific um, with a specific win condition, if you will. But yeah, Dragon Road. Justin, number 12. Uh, my number 12 is Death Egg Zone. It's, 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 it's uh, spacey. It's electrically... Sonic, Sonic 3 and Knuckles version? Uh, yeah. Same as me from earlier. Alright, go on. It's spacey. It's electrically, it looks like the Death Star, and there's anti-gravity, and I fucking hate anti-gravity. But, uh, beyond that, so though... So that's why it's number 12 in your yeah. list. <laughs> um, exactly. What do you call it? Um, it, it's, it's not a bad level besides, like, the anti-gravity is not as bad as some other games I've played, but, uh... So, like, I, I like, I like the, just the structure of the level, and I especially love the music. That's probably my favorite part of Death Egg Zone. It's, um... And, you know, it's where you, uh, <laughs> you fight, uh, well, that, that's where you pretty much transition to Doomsday Zone if you're good enough to get the emeralds, which, you know, I, I just like that whole little transition. I thought that was pretty cool. So, yeah. All right. Landon, number 12. My number 12 is Regal Ruin from Sonic R. Oh, baby. Okay. They said, they said I was allowed to put Sonic R levels in this. So I, you, like, oh, I, I said that I quote. Cool. If you can count it as a level, then you can use it, and if you like it, you can, you can put it. Real yeah, real. Um, I actually like this one because, you know, you have to take me back in time to another world where you can be mine. <laughs> um, and it's actually, it's, it's a fun one to uh, speed run through. It's got a lot of, like, shit in it, like, for a racing level. There's, like, just a lot of paths you can take. And when you're trying to collect shit, you have to go, like, on the outside and shit. But when you're just speedrunning, you can just cut through the water like a badass and then just appear, like, I don't know, during that, like, uh, where the speed boost is. But you can, like, skip over the... 
you can take the speed boost for a little bit, and then you can just jump over to where the pillars are, and then like you can just cut through the level. I don't know, it's fun. Uh, it's a fun one for me when I was when I speed run uh, levels in Sonic R, and yeah, it's Regal Ruin from Sonic R. Sounds sounds sexy. All right, uh, Jack, number eleven. Number eleven is. <sighs> Okay. My number 11 is Rooftop Run from Generations. Not Unleashed. Okay. N- n- nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's, I really like the uh, classic version of the stage because it's got some fun platforming stuff. Super good remix. Um, uh, the modern version, which is pretty similar to the version in Unleashed, but, you know, a lot better. And uh, that remix is uh, Ear Sex. And, um, e- yeah, that's it. All right. My number 11 is Aquarium Park from Sonic Colors. It is one of the only, if not the only... Okay, I'm not going to say anything too spoilery, but I'm going to say that it is my favorite level where there are parts where you basically mandatorily do have to go underwater at some point. Um, I really like the exploration aspect of Aquarium Park, both in and out of the water. It's got a whole lot of area of places you can go. Um, I, I got lost in a couple of levels, but I was having so much fun like discovering all these different areas that I didn't care. Um, it's got some neat... 3D segments, um, one in particular I really like. <laughs> um, if you guys remember the LP when uh, you start running along this one path and then there's a water, f- and then there's like a gap and then there's a waterfall in some like rocky area and then you go into this room and kill enemies. I did die there and I know I, that was dumb but that's actually my favorite area of like all of Aquarium Park put together. And I don't know, it's like it's just I was waiting for, at one point, them to finally make a water level, and me'd be like, yes, this. And I really like Aquarium Park. It's also got a really cool samurai, Japan, oriental kind of feel. Justin, number 11. Uh, my number 11 is Lava Zone, Sonic and Opus. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> All right, go on. I uh, just like... um. I think it's a pretty fun level. It's not uh, extremely difficult, but uh, it, it can get a little bit tricky if you uh, if you get stuck on the elevators like I have before. Um, it, I think it's the, uh, the best part about the level, though, is obviously the music. Although, pretty much I can say that about pretty much any level from Sonic and Knuckles, so yeah. All right, Landon, number 11. Ooh, I came back just in time because I dropped in the call. Anyway, um, my number 11 is Metajungular Zone from Sonic Triple Travel. Uh, I it like was it. almost on my list. Hey, look at that. That's, I that's told you about that. I, asked. I know. That's, I asked which one. I was like, oh, okay. I said okay. It's in the, the chat. You can go back and read it. Anyway, uh, um, it's a fun one because there's balls everywhere and you get to break balls. Breaking balls, yeah. Fuck yeah! <laughs> and it's it's got loop de loops that are sideways. Uh, the only downside to that is you can't backtrack much. It's not one way you can go really go exploring, especially nope. if you miss the chaos emerald box in the first act. Back. Can't go over that. Yeah, um, but uh, I never do because I know exactly where it is. Go down to the lower section and you beat up that box. It's, it's a platform, but there's that. Yeah. Anyway. Um, it's a fun one, and the boss is a dick because he explodes at the end. He just sends a fire hell storm of death and destruction at your face. That's about it, really. I mean, it's, he's pretty easy. I mean, you can just jump on his head when he's not doing his fire death storm of destruction and pain and suffering and ring loss. <laughs> uh, yeah, Metal Jungler Zone from Sonic Triple Travel. Number 11. Oh. All right, Jack. We're moving on to our top ten. Start us off. My number... Oh, ten. Okay. My number ten is under construction. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> come, back, come back later when it's finished. I get it. It's Planet okay, my West. Number t- 
My number 10 is Planet Wisp from Sonic Gay Pride. Uh, <laughs> you! <laughs> I'm okay with this. Surprised no one has ever made that joke. But, no, I, I, I really like the level because it's, like, it's really beautiful looking. It's got a lot of good green. Uh, factory sections are it's fun. It's got a I lot just of wish good it... green. You make it sound yeah. like they, they sell pot. <laughs> what do they do? <laughs> Go on, though. Sonic's got a thing going on with Mary Jane. But, uh, um, no, I like it. it. When I say good green, I think the green sections are really beautiful. And the factory sections are fun, but the reason why it's not any higher is because there's just so many of them. If there was more green, it would probably be in, like, top three. But um, Too much factory, I, I heard, not enough pot. Yeah, and uh, the music, uh, oh god, the bass in Act 1, it makes me come buckets. All right. That's, All day. <laughs> That's good. It's so good. <laughs> All right. My number 10 is Sky Sanctuary from Sonic 3 Knuckles. I really like this stage because it's a mix. It's like it's three boss fights split up by a lot of platforming, and you're doing like a climbing kind of thing, which a lot of Sonic games have not really tried to do like a climbing style platforming stage. And when it's done right, it's actually really fun style of platforming. And you get to fight these, you get like the main enemy in the stage are just like these just tons and tons of uh, Eggman's Egg Robos that are just kind of like flying around on jetpacks trying to shoot you, which is cool. And then the boss fights are all taken um, from the previous Sonic, the two previous Sonic games before, and you fight Mecha Sonic piloting, like, first he's piloting the first boss from Sonic 1, and then he's piloting the Metropolis Zone boss from Sonic 2, and then you fight him in a manner similar to how you fight uh, Silver Sonic or Robo Sonic, whatever you would decide to call him from Sonic 2, which I thought was really cool callback. It's, all that combines into a really cool level, and it is one of my favorites from the 16-bit era. <coughs> Spoilers. But, um, yeah, my number 10 is Sky Sanctuary. Your turn, Justin. Uh, number 10 is Red Mountain. Sonic Adventure. Uh, it's a mountain. It's red. Well, actually, it's brown, but uh, so that's a lie. Um, but uh, I, one of my favorite things about that level is the fucking uh, the instrumentation. I mean, that is amazing. It's like because Sonic Adventure. Uh, the thing about that is that it, it's like a mixture of rock and jazz, which is why I think it's one of my favorite soundtracks of any Sonic series. Uh, because I think they, I think they just go together uh, so well. And Red Mountain was definitely one of my favorites for that fucking saxophone. That was amazing. All so, right. Yeah. Landon, number 10. <laughs> hey, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, my number 10 is Tropical Coast from Sonic Lost World. Oh, baby. Oh, oh baby. Serious thing baby. Right now. I came. <laughs> you know, I was really... Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, finally. I was waiting for Jack to have, like, an even more inflated reaction to when I said Mad Gear earlier. He's like, what's with I all these it. weird... Mad man? Gear's... Yeah, Mad Gear's all right, but... <sighs> You're just dumb, Jack. <laughs> all right, it's here. just a generic beach level. Man. It's not. There's fucking fruit everywhere. And Act <laughs> Three is a fucking great grinding level. That's, there's no beach found in Act Three. I, I couldn't find a beach. I was looking and I played it like eight times, and I was like, "Where's the beach? Can't find it." <laughs> the best grinding there's, level. There's no is, beach uh, here. It's, it's... Desert world, whatever. Fucking. What is it? Desert ruins. I don't remember. Yeah, it's desert ruins. But There's no, a ruin wrong, back there. It's Act Three. It's Act Three of Tropical Coast. It's the best grinding level. Because <laughs> that that song, that music. Oh yes. That, <laughs> that that's like the best song from the game, and it's just fun because you get to kick you you get to play around with Melon Domo, and then he sacrifices himself so you can ride the fruit juice stairway to heaven. All right, number nine, Jack. <sighs> I'm glad you enjoy being wrong. 
Anyway, my number nine is... Go on. My number nine is... Uh, I, 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 I'm trying to think of a unique way to introduce this just because I love it so much, but eh. My number nine is Music Plants from Sonic Advance 2. Uh, this level is just... You could have introduced it by saying that your f- number nine was Music Plant! <laughs> <laughs> you could have sang it in. Oh, God. But anyway, go on. <laughs> music Plants... Sonic Advance 2 is just has some really, really good aesthetic, le- like, aesthetic-looking levels. Just, like, like a lot of the shit in that game. Fucking uh, Hot Crater, Music Plant, Techno Bass, uh, Egg Utopia. It's just... And Music Plant is the best one. It's just, like, fu- a, a level just based entirely around bouncing up and down around and making music. It's just... And, uh, the, the, and of course, the actual... The track that plays in the level is fantastic. It's just, it's so good. All right. My number nine is another Sonic 3 and Knuckles level, two back-to-back. And the best part about this is, is it's actually very close to Sky Sanctuary in the lava rotation. My number nine is Lava Reef. Um, I really like the, uh, the level design for Lava Reef and the fact that it's, um, one of the first, like, hot volcano, volcano, magma, whatever you want to say, like, that kind of level theme, like, the, this was like the first major time it happened in the series, and it was really good, in my opinion. Uh, something I really like about it is that after Sandopolis, which is like a giant marathon level, Lava Reef is, while not very short, is a decent length. It's not too long, it's not too short, it's got a lot of really fun elements, a lot of, uh, it's got cool boss fights that I like. I really like, one of my favorite things about Lava Reef is how Act 1 is like the magma cave, and then Act 2 is like this crystalline kind of cave, and the fact that they are like, they're both together within the same zone, I just thought was like, wicked cool, because most of the other levels... And Sonic 3 and Knuckles, they don't have it too much aesthetically different between them. And then you have, like, this drastic change, but still enough to be able to say, oh, this is the same area. I like Lava Reef Zone. Uh, Justin, number nine. Uh, my number nine is Emerald Coast. Um, hey, that's a level. I said that earlier. Um... It's pretty much the same as uh, Angel Island Zone. Um, it's one of my favorite like starting levels because uh, I don't know. I just like how everything comes together. Like it, it's not. It's a tropical level, but it's not like another foresty level. It's more like the kind of like beach area. Although it does kind of transition to a more green looking area, but that's not until like the second half of it. Um, on top of that, both. Um, halves of the level because it's not like acts anymore they just kind of like split at some point um like i really like the kind of like tropical sounding uh beat they have going for the first half of it and i especially love the second half um of the uh of the, of the level for the track anyway um and i think it just goes through, uh, goes together quite nicely and like i said it's it starts off as like a beach area so it's not like another like greenery kind of level so yeah Landon, number nine. All right. My number nine is Mushroom Hill. Oh. Ooh. From Can Sonic I do my number eight yes. now? Okay. No, it's my, it's Sonic all Generation the, 3DS. Oh. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> I've got it. You've been revealed. Uh, oh, my God. Now we know Jack's number eight. I did it. It was the plan all along. Landon, why? Because it's the best level from that game. It's true. Actually. It is. It really oh, is. And it's That's and awesome. like Act Two is no, you're wrong. You're just mad because I have a better list than you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. But go on. You're just mad because you're in denial that Sonic Lost World is a shitty game. What? No. Amazing. You're wrong. <laughs> Stop being wrong. Go away. <laughs> go be right. wrong somewhere else. <laughs> anyway. Continue explaining Mushroom Hill. Mushroom Hill yes. from Sonic Generations 3DS. It's actually the only Sonic Generations level I have on my list. Spoilers. Doesn't really matter. 
the rest of it's just fucking the two games, really. Well, four. Anyway, um, but uh, Act 2 is shit tons. This is really fun to play. You just zoom through it. I don't know. I always had fun speed running that when I was still playing Sonic Generations 3DS. If I go back to it now, I'd be like, oh, my God, I'm terrible at this. And I just, like, my 3DS would explode. I'd just explode in a fiery pit because I'd be doing so bad. Um, but, yeah, it's a lot of fun to play as, um, as a uh, uh, super fast Sonic. And then um, as a uh, not super fast Sonic, it's, I still think it's pretty fun to play as. Yeah, it's uh, Mushroom Hill, Sonic Generations, 3DS. Right. Number eight, Jack. You already know what it is. Yeah. yeah. My, number, my number eight is Mushroom Hill from Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Boy. This level... Okay. This level is just like... I don't know what it is about it. It's just something... I, I'm a big fan of the jungly kind of area in uh, games. and I'm Calling it now, Green Forest is somewhere up or uh, higher on the list. Shut your face. and uh, But no, no it's like super... I don't know, it's just like, something about it is just like really nostalgic to me, I guess, because it's, the music is just like, it's it's really good, and I love bouncing on mushrooms, and the, the seasonal change in Act 2 I always thought was really cool, and, um, yeah. Alright, my number 8 is Starlight Zone from Sonic the Hedgehog 1. It is my favorite level from the original Sonic the Hedgehog, mostly because it is a very nice mixture of... Because um, Sonic the Hedgehog, the, the, my problem with the original game, while I, I love it to death, is, Too slow. is it, it doesn't really give you the chance to exemplify so, Sonic's speed. And he, he was supposed to be advertised as this fast alternative to Mario. And... It's too slow for me. And he's and it's just like most of the game he's just like trotting through really like slow segments, especially marble and uh labyrinth zone. And then you, you get a taste of it in Spring Yard, but you're constantly bumpering around the bumpers. You don't get a chance to control it. Starlight Zone is like your first chance at really tasting Sonic's ability to be really fast and have full <laughs> You said tasting. And have and have full control over it and I like that it's a breather level in between Labyrinth Zone and then the um, the Scrap Brain Zone which I was considering putting on the list but for the sole reason that Act 3 is just a redo of Labyrinth Zone which really turned me off and there's parts of the first two acts that I don't particularly care for to begin with it's just I, I couldn't give it on the list but I, lo I love Starlight Zone it's three really nice speedy breezy acts and the enemies are like they're free and far between, and most and all, not you can't really hurt any of them. But the way they, so you have to like avoid them. So it's kind of unique where most of the zones, you know, you fight an enemy, you, you know, you can ha you can pop it on the head. But Starlight Zone, you either have like the bombs that explode, or you have like the little guys that have spike balls that never get released, so you can never hit them unless you're already getting mercy invincibility or something. But it's a really fun zone. Uh Justin, number eight. Uh, uh, my number eight is Sky Dash. A lot of people are probably like, flat, But uh, I actually enjoy it. Uh, it's a little complicated, and the second half of it can really fuck you up, and everything's like, whoa, what happened to gravity? But uh, there's, a, there's a few tricks you can do to actually bypass all that. One of them being just spin dash the fuck way up there before the gravity decides to fuck you over, and you'll be fine. Um, and then the, the other one is to not play the level at all. <laughs> um, but, yeah, uh, I think the music is, like, one of my favorite uh, tracks in, like, well, of all of Sonic Adventure. So, yeah, like, that guitar is really fucking badass. So, and it reminds me of Asteroid Coaster, which is why I always make that comment about how they sound alike. But, uh, yeah, Skydance, really fun level. Landed number eight. Number eight is Gimmick Mountain from Sonic 2 8 bit. Hey, I remember gimmick. that level. You spin around on CDs. You just spin around on CDs and break through the walls again because that's always the that's the best part of Sonic 2 8 bit. It's not the insane difficulty that the game offers. It's breaking through walls and finding stuff to make Cloud cry <laughs> while we're recording. <laughs> like I remember half that level. I was just going through Stephanie's like, you know, 
if people were watching right now, they think you like breaking the game because you just keep going through walls. And I'd be like, uh, shut up. Don't tell anyone. But uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, it is very gimmicky because, you know, it's Gimmick Mountain, so it has to have some sort of gimmick, right? So they put giant CDs in it. You just spin around on giant CDs. Even though they're not giant CDs, they look like giant CDs. So I just call them the giant CDs. Oh, baby. Because you spin around on those for like half an hour trying to get up through the level. Because it's ridiculously hard to get up there. Even though it's not, I was just dumb when I was recording it. I don't know. I'm dumb. Uh, sometimes. Sometimes I'm not. Like, with this list, I wasn't dumb. Unlike Jack. Okay, I'm done. All right, number seven, Jack. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. I, I guess it's my turn then. Yes. It is you your are turn. Jack. Uh, am I? Yes. All right, come on. Let's go. Number seven. Okay, my... My number, my number seven is... Gotta go fast. The level. On a road. It, it's Speed Highway. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I was wondering. From SA1. Um, I like this level because it's got some good jams. It's like you go fast, spin dash everywhere. It's got nice set pieces. It's got like the helicopter, like the building part. Uh, At Dawn is a great song. It's, um, game of the Year 2014. Oh, baby. All right. I don't know. I'm sorry. That wasn't funny. My number seven is Emerald Hill Zone, Sonic Adventure, uh, Sonic, <laughs> for Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Uh, it's one of my favorite, it's one of my favorite first levels in any game ever. It's got a really nice way of introducing the player to, like, all the game's mechanics and the way that, like, it, the, the, just the feel of the game is, like, perfectly introduced with Emerald Hill Zone. Whereas Green Hill was like, oh, hey, you're going to make it, we're going to make it feel like you're going to be able to go fast. But, Landon, why are you staring at the, <laughs> oh my god, all right. But um, the, uh, the thing I like about Emerald Hill Zone is it, you, it gives you a sense of speed right from the get-go. And Sonic 2 is a much faster kind of game, the way that you can just blitz through levels and go really fast. And I like how in Emerald Hill, it's easy to rack up a bunch of lives, and you can also get, like, all of the Chaos Emeralds in that one zone, and I've done it before. Then you can break the game. Um, I've, everything else is kind of already said at this point, so, Justin, number seven. Okay. Um, my number seven is Flying Battery Zone. Um, it's a good zone. Yeah, um, uh, because you cannot stop the battery. Uh, but yeah, uh, fly battery zone. It's really weird. Like you just, it's like a lot of like flips and flaps, and like you just kind of go all over the place while you're going through it. Because there's a lot of those spinning things. As if Sonic needed more spinning. Um, and the out, it, like when you do actually get outside the ship, uh, it get a, it can get a little hectic if uh, you're not expecting some of the platforming. Uh, thankfully, that's the only part of the uh, LP that I was amazing at when I just kind of dashed through that. But yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, I think my, my, obviously my favorite part of the level is obviously the music, which a lot of people say is similar to some other artists, but whatever. Um, but yeah, Flying Battery Song. It's, it's delicious, it's sexy, and it's got good music. All right. Uh, number seven for Landon. Sound high. My number seven is going to be one of, oh, never mind, I won't say it. Anyway, uh, my number seven is Pink Water Level from <laughs> that one Sonic game. It's, uh, is it Chemical it's Plant? Chemical Plant. It's chemical yeah. Plant. Yeah, Chemical Plant. From Sonic 2? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, you did mention said, that. You there's you only one generation's it. level, and that was Mushroom Hill. Yes, <laughs> version. All right. Go on, though. Because, I don't know, when when people say Sonic 2, and I'm like, you mean Sonic 2 8-bit? And they're like, no, what are you, a fag? I don't even know what that means. And I'm like, oh, I'll cry now. <laughs> but uh, when they say Sonic 2, and they're not talking about Sonic 2 8-bit, because no one ever talks about that game. Um, I, I usually think about the son uh, Chemical Plant, because, I don't know, to me, that's kind of the most iconic level from that game. I don't know, just me. I don't know. I don't know. 
It's my favorite. I don't know. You get to go fast. You get to go slow. You get to go medium speed. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. There's some platforming. There's some not platforming. There's some Tails dying, and then Tails died again. And then you went through the water area, and then Tails died again. And then you fight the boss, and then you're just like, why are you dropping shit on me? And then you just duck, and then he doesn't do shit to you. I win. And then you turn the game off because there's nothing after that because the rest of the game is bad. Bad news bears. Don't play it. It's, it's, it's actually sketchy. <laughs> I don't know. I'm done. All right. Jack, number safe. That's racist. No, it's not. I'm, I'm tired. My number six is Sky Sanctuary from Sonic Generations. Um, it's uh, I really love Specifically, the classic version of this level, it has some like really great branching paths, and uh, it's uh, the modern the modern one's really good too. I mean, the really good level design, and you know, but uh, it's not higher because it's not yellow enough, like Sonic Retro said. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. It was a Sonic. It was a Sonic Retro. Yeah. Or, or it wasn't a joke, but it was people actually complained about that, which is sad. But you no, know, it's a fun times sky it's a temple. It's gonna be a cat fight. All right. My, it's uh, from Borderlands too. <laughs> my number six is City Escape from Sock Generations. I like the Generations version more, especially because there's more to play of City Escape, and I love City Escape. Um, the thing I like about City Escape is that it's really dynamic. You start Can off you be on quiet. A, what? Me? Not you, the cat. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> uh, you start off on a board, and you get to get, do, like, a boarding section, and then you get to do, like, an actual level section with all platforming stuff, and then it ends with a chase. And the way that that's all crammed into the first level uh, from what Sonic Adventure 2 was was really cool. And the way that it was redone, and you get extra platforming segments that I thought were really cool in Sonic Generations, like, the little, like, I can't really explain it, but soon after you start the uh it like the the part before you get to the 2D section just before the chase i like the way that 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 sonic generations did it more than sonic adventure 2 did and yeah also the chase segment in that level was in my opinion a lot more exciting than the adventure 2 version cuz you get to go on walls of buildings also the classic act of that stage is a, um, one of my favorites in the game because the board that you could get that you could use at the beginning of the first of the modern act is in a monitor that you can use for the well there's also well, no well there's all uh, not because it's a skateboard but you can also do a boarding set stuff in the mo in this classic act which I thought was really cool also the truck is also in the modern level the classic level too I'm, I'm getting. I'm getting things. A I'm call get, back to Robotnik Winter Zone. Yeah. By the way. Yeah. See, I wouldn't have known that if you hadn't pointed that out, because I don't really play the game Gear. Because they're both in monitors, and yeah, well, yeah. it's because you're just wrong. I'm so being wrong. I'm sorry that I don't play the Game Gear Master System games, Landon. I played them. Yeah, you better be. Yeah. See, but, that guy's. Okay, I guess. He yeah, have any I, re list, I, re so I, re I, re I really enjoy both acts of City Escape and Sonic Generations, and I think they are perfect. Go. Oh. Justin, number six. Oh. Um, what do you call it? Uh, my number six is Marble Garden Zone. Uh, because, I don't know, like, even when I was a kid, this has always been like one of my favorite uh, Sonic 3 levels. Like, I always played the shit out of it. It, it was just like really entertaining. Um, it was also the only level that didn't have any water, which was really cu uh, really curious. Um, and I absolutely love the music. Like, uh, well, though that's kind of like a recurring theme that's happening now, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> uh, the only thing I don't like about it is the mini boss, or well, the mini boss and the knuckles portion of the boss, uh, because. The, the fucking stalactites or stalagmites. I, I don't know if it's like which one is which for the above or on the ground kind of funny things. But uh, since they're completely random and you can never tell where they're coming from, you're probably going to get hit a few times. So, yeah, that's probably the only annoying part of the game, or the level. 
But uh, otherwise, I think it's a really fantastic level. All right, Landon, number six. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Uh, my number six is Atomic Destroyer Zone from, uh, what was it, Triple Travel? Oh, there's a recurring thing here. They know. made they made a level called Atomic Destroyer, but they couldn't go with Genocide City. No. Anyway, um, go ahead. Because, you know... Um, Genocide is bad. It's a... F uh, <laughs> An Atomic <laughs> Destruction uh, play, okay. It's like America's good, terrorists bad. Atomic Destroyer good, Genocide bad. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, Atomic Destroyer is probably um, it's my, well, I won't say it's my favorite final zone because, um, anyway, it's one of my favorite final zones from a Sonic game uh, because I, I really like, I like the zone itself. It's a lot of uh, those silly um, pipe sections you have to go through, which normally I don't like. Um, from Sonic, like the, the like the Sonic games, but from for whatever the reason, I really do like it in this one. And like the lower sections of the levels are fun to explore. But then what I really love about this is actually the final boss that just kind of goes through in Act Three, where you take on I don't really care. It's not really spoilers because no one plays apparently the eight bit games. Uh, but uh, you you fight uh, Metal Sonic. And then you go and you have to fight, uh, like, four phases of Dr. Eggman. And uh, he's just really fun to fight, I, I think, in that, in that uh, he's just probably, he's probably, my, he's my favorite final boss. That's it's my favorite final boss from a Sonic game. So, yeah. The level's good, too. I really like it. I like it all. Please. Pre-order my new level. All right. So, we're at the top five now. From. We're at the top five now, and Jack's going to kick us off with his number five. No, I won't. Oh. Is it oh. Silent Forest from Sonic Lost World? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it all along. I knew it. It's a forest zone, so it was like, it's got to be in there somewhere. No, my, my number five is White Jungle from SA2. You were wrong, Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel? <laughs> but no, I like White Watch Jungle a lot. Watch the next it's... one is the one the cloud said. <laughs> <laughs> See, okay, I like White Jungle a lot because it's. Um, I really like the it's atmosphere. Racist. It's like, <clears throat> shut up! Uh, <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> you know I can't focus. I don't know. It's like it's kind of whitish. Uh, it's it's, um, it's jungly. Like it's it's jungly. It's got some great music. Uh, it's <coughs> He's dying. Oh, excuse me. Um, David, it's, the word. It's, it's so good that it takes his breath away. That was so yeah. enlightening. Yeah, sure. That's we're done. Oh, it's a lie. Okay. No, no. Okay, but it's the the dead. I can't talk now. All right. I can't. I, I think that's a good enough explanation for White Jungle. It leaves you breathless. It's racist. No, really, no. And it's white. It's pretty racist. Yeah. There are no Asian forests. <laughs> I'll go now. All right. My number five is Chemical Plant from Stock Generations. I really like uh, the fact that the first act is basically a remastered HD version of the first act of Chemical Plant from Sonic 2, and I really love what they did with the modern act of Sonic for Sonic Generations for uh, Chemical Plant. Especially, like, the way it starts, you start on, like, those two things, how you can run on them. There's, like, three of them, and you can switch if by jumping off, so you can, like, take a different path. And the mix of 2D and 3D in this level is probably my favorite, one of my, like, my favorites of the Sonic of any of the modern games that do this. And, I don't know, it just, it, it's such a cool level, and I really like what how they handled it in the modern act, and just the fact that I have the HD version of Act 1 as the classic act was just, I mean, for, this, for from a development standpoint, it's kind of lazy, but from my point of view, it's like, oh, that's really cool. Yeah, that's about all I have to say about Chemical Plant, because 
Landon already covered the Sonic 2 version of that spiel. So, Justin, number five. Oh, number five is my number five is Hydro City Zone. Oh, um, you spin me right round, don't you? Yes, I do. Uh, yeah, that's actually where that originates. From. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why I was. That's why I brought that up. Um, but yeah, um, Hydro City Zone is actually one of my all-time favorite water levels from a Sonic game, which is funny because I usually hate water levels in a Sonic game. Uh, but like, I I think it's mainly because. You think it acts like a typical Sonic water level, but then it's like, if, if you're quick enough, you can kind of get out of the water, because, the, like, they do throw you into a lot of it, but there's a lot of times where, if you're fast enough, you can pretty much get out of it as soon as you got into it. And on top of that, they throw enough uh, bubble shields at you that you probably won't suffocate unless you're really terrible at the game, so I don't really see a real, a real big threat of drowning in that level, so... I think it was uh, nicely done, and the music, especially Act 2's music, is fucking phenomenal. So, that's why that is number five. Number five, Landon. My number five is Radical City from Sonic R, because they said <laughs> I could put Sonic R levels in this. <laughs> Amazing. And it's because I'm living in the city. I like Radical City, so, oops. Unfortunately, yeah, have... your favorite Sonic R level is not on here, Cloud. Oh. I'm gonna cry. I, I can already tell you that. I cry. It, it would be like, it'd be like number 21. Oh, okay. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, Radical City is uh, it's a really fun level. It's another one that I like to explore in, but also it's another fun one to speed run. And it's great because it's the level you get Tails Doll in. That automatically makes it, like, the best amazing. Stage. No, I wouldn't say that. Uh, spoilers. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I really like it. I love the music. And um, uh, Tails Doll's, I don't know, he's piss easy to get, really. As long as you, like, get all the emblems, he's, like, he's literally the easiest... Uh, like, uh, bonus, like, whatever you want to, the, the, the rival race, or whatever you want to call it, like, when you're trying to unlock the person, he's literally, I don't know, like, he, he will still be on, he'll be starting lap two by the time, um, you, finish. you are almost done with, yeah, you're, by the time you're almost done. <laughs> he's just that slow, but then again, he's so fun to play, as. I don't know, I don't know, man. It's a fun stage, it's, it's his plan. Uh, the original Radical area, so, yeah, Radical. Radical. All Tubular. right. Tubular. Number four, Jack. My number four is I Hate All of You. My oh. number four is Green Forest from SA2. I win. <laughs> it only took some time. It, it pains me how well you called that. And you weren't even trying. <laughs> yeah. I was like, it's the but next no. one. But no, I love Green Forest because it's like, it's, well, again, I really like forests, and it's um, it, it's like there's like you know a threat, I guess, even though it's not really a threat because the bomb timer lasts for a million years. But no, it's like uh, I don't know. It's like get to the end of the, or get out of the island before it fucking explodes and you die. And it's like, oh shit, we gotta go. And it's got, like, the super fast-paced, kick-ass music to go with it, and it's just a really, really good level that I like a lot. All right. My number four is Hidden Palace from Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Um, it started off as a scrapped level, and then it finally got a redo, and it's, like, it a finished version in um, the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 remake slash port on uh, iOS and Android, and I really hope that that and Sonic 1 get moved on to consoles. Uh, Hidden Palace, it was the, it was, they had like a lot of progress made with it before it was finally scrapped, and I'm not going to really talk about the original version, I'm talking about the, um, the Android iOS re-release. Uh, I really, really loved this level, I had high expectations because I was like, Hidden Palace Zone, I had read about it years ago, and I was like, I really, really, really want this to be a thing eventually one day and then my prayers were answered because someone got Sega to publish a game that 
they did as a port slash remake, and they did this level, and it is so good because it's like it it like adds everything that the beta versions of Hidden Palace had, and then it finishes them, and there's so much to explore. There's so much you can explore. But at the same time, you can get to the end of the level and get to the boss fight within, like, a minute and a half, two minutes if you feel like speeding through. But there's, like, a good five, six, seven minutes worth of exploration you can do. There's also a few underwater segments, but if you're good, much like levels like Aquatic Ruin, you can completely avoid it, which I thought was really cool. And there's a lot of really neat things, like the breakable little emerald that a lot of people had noticed in the beta version of Hidden Palace is, like, they conceal springs and then there's a couple water slides, and then there's like a little pulley that will take you up a slope, and there's just so many cool things about this level, and I like everything about it, and the, little, the enemies that are unique to this zone are really neat, like there's a little dinosaur that can breathe fire, and then there's like these bats, and I think my favorite thing about Hidden Palace, though, is that you the way you access it in the game. You actually have to deliberately fall down the pit in Mystic Cave Act 2 that was supposed to be a spike pit. They took out the spikes, and now you just drop down in Hidden Palace. And if you're curious, the beta version of Hidden Palace is also accessible in the game, and when you get to, like, the little emerald at the end, it just warps you back to the entrance, which I thought was a neat little add-on. But yeah, Hidden Palace was... So good. I'll I'll boot up the game sometimes and just play Hidden Palace just to play it. It it's there's so many different paths you can take. You can play as okay. All, wrap it up. Uh, it's it's so good though. I was going to say you can play as all three characters to explore it fully. And the boss fight's really the the only thing I don't like love, but it's just, it's a fun fight. Really unique. Uh yeah, Hidden Palace. I love it. I'm glad they finally got made. Justin, number four. Uh, my number four is chemically plant zone. Um, oh, uh, I should is probably play with it. Uh, no, it's yeah. uh, the generations one. <laughs> uh, I just think uh, just the little addition of the extra like beat to like the classic one. I actually think that's a really nice touch, like how you can just slightly alter a few beats, and it sounds like something completely different but it doesn't like lose the original oh, flow of it I was going to say one last thing and then Jack freaking made me lose my train of thought but that's okay keep going Justin um, Justin wait Justin you do realize this is not the top 20 level music list right <laughs> but but I have to continue my track from Sonic Witch 2 oh okay go for it but, but um, the level design is also pretty neat like a lot of it especially well most of it from the classic side uh, is pretty much the same although there are some slight changes so it's not completely the same which I think is pretty neat and then the modern section uh, completely like reamps uh, everything from the original and I think that's pretty neat how they actually they actually add like they incorporate obviously like the grind rails and the little hand things that Sonic likes to grab a hold of and stuff like that. I just thought it was pretty neat. All right. Landon, number four. My number four is Great Turquoise Zone from Sonic Triple Travel. Uh, I don't know, because I need another Sonic Triple Travel game on, or level on this list, because uh, how many do I have up to this point? Three? Yeah, that's not enough. I need more than that. So I was like, hmm, what else do I like from this? It's not the great turquoise. Uh, it's a really good first level because I say it is, so it is. Don't argue with me. <laughs> Otherwise, you're just wrong. Although you're probably, I don't know, I, I don't care. Shut up, don't talk to me. Why are you talking to me? Go away. Anyway, um, that was another land-in in my brain saying that. Don't listen to him. Please talk to me. Please. I need all attention. Right, all right. All right. All right. Great turkey. Uh, the level itself, because, I don't know, because I can't apparently go on forever like Cloud does on random bullshit, is uh, but really good. Um, I like it. Hidden Palace sucks. Shut up. Fuck you. You have to even play it. Hey, it's my time. You can talk during your time. Cause you can't, because you have to wrap it up. Anyway, Great, great Turquoise is, like I said, it's a, the first level, Sonic Triple Trouble. And it's a really fun one to run through. And I think what I like about it the most is, well, if you do it, because uh, you can uh, get the first Chaos Emerald in it. I, 
Uh, I'm just going to throw in the special stages in this slot, too. Can I do that? No. They're sure. technic the first, third, and fifth are technically zones. Uh, two and four are just plain levels. But I, I really like the special stages in the game, too, because they're really exploration-based. But so is Great Turquoise, because, um, well, it's short, but you can, like, find shit and shit. And this tells you can explore a little bit more because you can fly and shit. Mostly shit. Yeah. Okay, I'm done now. <laughs> All right, on to the number threes. Uh, my God. And, okay. <clears throat> well, wait, what were you going to say? Nothing, nothing. No, what were you going to say? It's just that that turn just took forever. I don't so know. Never... We're getting to our, like, our top I know. Favorite, so you can only expect it. Whatever. Brace it. Go, I love three. Rolling around at the speed of generations. Oh. Oh. I, city, I said that earlier. I said that earlier. It's time for it to what? Cityscape from Generations. Okay, let's do got it. a good it's got a <laughs> classic level with uh, Cash Cash remix. It's good stuff. Uh, it's a fun level to speed run. I love the section with the skateboard in the truck. Um, modern sections, a uh, good reimagining of the original level, which is also really good. And uh, it's got uh, it's just really f fun, awesome remix. Ted, Tony Harnell's the best singer ever. Yeah, I'm done. Really? You're already done? Yeah. Okay. Um, my number three is Green Hill from Sonic Adventure 2. It's uh, a secret level that you unlock after you get all 180 emblems. It's basically, it's, it's supposed to be, I think, mostly just Act 1 of Green Hill. Might have elements of other acts from the original game, but it's redone in 3D, and there's like split branching pathways that you can take. I've played the level like a dozen times, and then I would end up in a different area every single time. And it's really cool the way that the level is presented, like the level aesthetics and everything. Like it's just it it it, it faithfully brought everything from Sonic One version of Green Hill into 3D. And I thought it was a really cool reward for getting all the emblems. Because this maniac actually got all A ranks in every stage. And it was worth it because Green Hill is so good. All right, Justin, number three. Uh, my for number three is Launch Base Zone. Oh, uh, I said that earlier. Well, mine is better. <laughs> uh, it technically okay. is because it's higher on his list. Um, uh, but um. Uh, yeah, I like, um, I just like the stage, like, it's really, uh, takes you all, like, all over the place, like, there's so many different, like, uh, uh, th like, there's, there's, like, a weird emphasis on going higher up, like, not like Sky Sanctuary, um, but you do, like, you're slowly ascending more and more up launch base zone, probably because, you know, that thing is launching, you gotta catch up to it, and, um, you know, there's, like, a lot of tube elevators and, like, slopes that you go up and spinning teacups of doom. And uh, on top of that, obviously, this is, like I said, part of the running theme. The music is amazing. It's got Michael Jackson in it, and it's awesome. And, yeah, it's a good level. All right, Landon, number three. Uh, hold on. Give me a second. Okay, my number three is Sky Base Zone from Sonic the Hedgehog 8-bit. Um, Maybe. If you... It, yeah. If you don't remember it, because... I do. You've never played the game. Or, yeah, you do. Um, but for those who've never played the game, uh, the level is... It's split up into, well, well, three acts, like a normal well, level from this. But uh, the first one, you are trying to get to uh, Eggman's ship, and... Um, when you do that, uh, there's a bunch of lightning in the background, so I like it aesthetically. It's really cool. Um, and there's a bunch of traps and stuff that have to that evolve around the lightning and trying to get to his giant ship. The second one is his ship. Like, the second act is this, is this giant ship that you have to, like, walk around on. And it's r technically really easy, unless you're, when you're trying to go for the... Uh, well, no, the Chaos Emerald is still e kind of easy, because you just float on this platform that you don't know is there, unless you, like, know it's there. You kind of just jump, and you're like, oh, there's a platform here, and then you ride that to get it. 
but then like there's this one dick wall in that level and then it's like hi there i'm gonna kill you because there's also a bomb enemy placement and so you're not supposed to actually go up there and then you get lost because you're trying to find the exit because it's not like a go to the left you kind of have to go in the middle and then go to the to the the other way, the left, actually, not the right. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. And then the, the mm. final boss is a real dick. Uh, if you t didn't see my LP, it took me, like, what was it, all my lives, which was, like, 24 plus, like, three continues before I actually got him. <laughs> yeah, he's a dick. Uh, but it's a really fun level. I really enjoy it. And, yeah, it's got right. his zone. Number two, Jack. <clears throat> Oh, what was that for? Woohoo! City Escape. From oh. Adventure. SA2. Oh my god. Yeah. It's back to back. Yep, that might. <laughs> I should have said this might sound familiar. But, uh, yeah, it's the City Escape 2. Actually, except it's not because it's the first one. But, um,. Uh, for real this time. Yeah, for real this time, <laughs> actually. Uh, City Escape, it's just... It's just... Sexy. Uh, it's so sexy. It's like, you start off, like, you jump out of a helicopter, you get a fucking piece of the helicopter or whatever, I don't know, it's like a snowboard, kind of, and then you fall you down... You break your legs. You fuck, yeah, you should break your legs. <laughs> you fall down and you fucking ride down the streets of San Francisco and you fucking crash crash your cars and uh, to this kick-ass jams uh, and uh, 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 God but and it's just I, I played this when I was like I don't know eight years old when I was eight and like this is the coolest fucking shit ever except I didn't say those exact words because I was eight and I didn't swear but it was God it's fucking just shit ever. It, it is except it's not because it's not my number one Oh, okay. how dare you? Well, oh, and, actually, uh, before truck. Cloud goes, I, I wanted to say, no, that's a terrible way to open a game, is breaking your legs and dying. I don't know. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> All right. But the truck, the truck is also, the truck, I was like, I, 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 the first time I saw the truck, I was like, oh, my, holy shit. It's like, I gotta run the fuck away. There's a fucking truck chasing after me. It's destroying everything. <laughs> this thing has no concern for human life. All right. My number two. When he came. My number two is Planet West from Sonic Colors. It is my favorite modern Sonic level of all time. It is really good. I love the aesthetic. I love the music. The piano is so good. Um, one of the things that I really like about Planet West, actually, that was not mentioned, is because in different in the different zones in Sonic Colors, you can unlock wisps from later levels and. After you have all the wisps, I find that it's a really nice balance of using wisps, but having them not be too focused on in Planet Wisp. Like, you still have a lot of really fun platforming segments that don't involve wisps, and then one, and then stuff that does. And I think it's got my favorite combination of 2D and 3D because of the fact that, like, some levels have some really short stages that are either kind of gimmicky or just kind of there. But Planet Wisp, all the levels are actually somewhat decent length. Like, I don't, I think the shortest one that I've completed in my fastest time was like a minute and 30 seconds. It's a really fun level, a bunch of good little acts all bunched together. It's got some of my favorite stuff. Yeah, Planet Wisp. Our, Maybe. It's our, already, stuff. other stuff has already been said about it. So, yeah, Justin. That base. Justin, number two. My number two is Final Egg. Because... Final uh, say that again. You you uh, cut out. My number two is Final Egg. Final Egg. Final Egg. Oh, from SA1? Yes. Oh, okay. It's, it's amazing. Well, not, not how you... Not how Get you a load it. of this! That's the boss fight. I know, but you... I, I was referring to a Sonic Shorts video where, like, Eggman's pelvic thrusting and the song's going on in the background, and he says, get a load of this. Um, but, yeah. Yeah, but I like the level, not how you get into it, though. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, like, it, it's kind of just, like, you kind of start off slow, like, even the music kind of fits it, because it's like you're just kind of, like, running around, 
kind of just busting up uh, Eggman's shit, and you know you're just trying to like make your way through the level, and then you get to the second half, and it's like, oh my god, everything's all crazy, and like there's pits everywhere, and it's like death, and holy shit, there's explosions, and then like you know it's like you get to the end of it, like holy shit, everything's blowing up, uh, 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 oh god, this rocket, uh, jump on it, uh, fly away now, <laughs> oh boss fight. And then, uh, yeah, and the music it pretty much fits that point as well because everything's all hectic and holy shit, what's happening, and, you know, all fast-paced like Sonic usually is. So I think, you know, the blend between what's actually happening and, you know, the music itself and even how the boss kind of leads up, I, I think it's pretty well done, and that's why it's my second favorite uh, Sonic level ever. All right, Landon, number dose. All right, my number two is... Title Plant Zone from Sonic Triple Trouble. <laughs> kind of running through here. God damn it. <laughs> That's number five out of a possible six. Anyway, are, this are is, you including this all six? What? Just, just go. I won't say. Just, uh, this is uh, my favorite water level ever uh, because one reason, one reason only, Tails, the Sea Fox. Because you get to ride around in a fucking submarine, like, oh, yeah. most of the fucking <laughs> right. level. And oh, it's, it, like, breaks the, the game. It's the fucking Sea Fox. And you just you just ride around, and you're just like, fuck the level. And then Sonic's back in the back. He's like, shit, I'm drowning. And I'm like, I don't care. I'm not playing as you right now. Go fuck off. <laughs> but you just shoot bullets from your fucking submarine, which is also from, uh, which is also in Tales of Adventure. If you, yeah, it's in Tales of Adventure. But, yeah, title plant. Is really fun, and then the boss fight for it is a knuckles fight, and he's in his own like submarine. And so when you're playing as Tails, you're having this like submarine battle, except you're at an advantage because you can go to like the top left corner, and then just shoot, spam your bullets, and he can't hurt you because he's a dumb shit. And then you kind of like defeat yeah. Knuckles, and he drowns or something. I don't know, but yeah, it's really fun to play as, and well, it's still fun to play as. Uh, Sonic, it's just he doesn't get as cool of a power-up as Tails does, because he just gets these, like, jet boots, which is kind of lame for a water level, which is, like, really labyrinthy kind of. But the bubble writing's fun, and um, all those... Uh, well, there is some dick enemy placement, but when you've played the game as much as I have, you kind of get used to it. You kind of know, there's a guy down here. I better lean a certain direction to avoid it. Yeah, so, title plant. Sonic Triple Trouble, number two. All right, so yeah. we're doing our number ones now. Give it to us Already? Straight, give, us to, give it to us straight, Doctor. What is it? Can I give it to you, gay? No. No. What about... Uh, what about curved? All right, what is your number one? Um... You need to know, man. Uh... Pass. No. No kidding. Give us the answer. <laughs> I I am only saying pass because I can't think of a good fake out. Yeah, just no, um, no. You just just give us your number one straight. Here's your That's here's it. your fake out. It's Kingdom Valley. Oh. Damn it, Landon! That. How did you know? I knew okay, it. my. I have a very sore feeling in my stomach. I'm sharing this number one with Justin because I don't think he's mentioned it yet. My number one level from any Sonic game ever, for all time, well, not for all time, maybe there's a game, a future game that might beat it, but my number one is Sky Sanctuary from Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Uh, I just, it's, it, I don't know, it's just a level I just enjoy the most out of all of them. It's like, it's like you just get out of uh, Lava Reef and you go... It's like, oh, we're getting off Angel Island. It's like, think it's like it's like this awesome looking like yellow green temple area in the sky. And it's like you fight um, Mecha Sonic a few times, and it's it's just a fantastic music, and um, it's a really good build up to the final level in the game. Uh, in that one tower section at the end, it's just. Uh, yeah. I don't know what else I can say about it. All right. Well, 
Now I have to think of a new number one because Landon spoiled my no. Uh, my number one, without doing a fake out, um, I'm going to say this now. Hidden Palace, as much as I was like, oh, as much as it makes me come bucket, it is not my favorite level from Sonic 2. My favorite level from Sonic 2, and my favorite level from every Sonic game, is Mystic Cave. It, water zone. No, it's Mystic Cave. I saw that it's coming. Mystic Cave. Water. Um, Mystic Cave. Yeah, it, um, certain levels in the first, the first couple of seconds, like the music and the way that, and like the in, like what what you see as soon as you get in, can really affect like what you like your idea, like what your experience is going to be. And Mystic Cave comes in with this blaring, creepy music, and then you are in a fucking cave mine, and I'm like, yeah. It's it's kind of that shit. It's kind of like that spooky. shit is jamming. It, it's it's jamming in a but it's kind of spooky also. Ooh, spooky. But um, yeah, Mr. Cave. It's something. Jam. There's things about Mr. Cave I really love, and it's like it doesn't really fit into one solid type of level. I mean, it, it's definitely a cave level, but at the same time, it's got mine elements because of like the. The, all of the ramps and all of the like the floors and stuff, but then at the same time, like the because of the eerie music, it's kind of like a spooky kind of cave, and it's like Ooh. I don't know how to explain this level other than oh my god, it's so awesome. Um, it's got amazing. Th there's so many amazing things about it. I really like that the um, the enemies kind of like will come out of nowhere, but at the same time, they're not, like, so cheaply placed that it's like, well, fuck you, you know, <laughs> cry, fucking, oh my god, Slicers and Metropolis don't piss me off. But no, I really like the placement of everything that's in Mystic Cave Zone. Um, being able to, like, do the handles on the bridges is really cool. Just, like, everything about Mystic Cave is really cool. And speaking of which, the thing I forgot to mention um, is that Hidden Palace in Sonic 2 in the ver in the phone version where it was remade uses the two-player music, which actually fits it a lot better in my opinion. But uh, yeah, I love Mystic Cave. Everything about it is so good. I love the boss fight. I love all of the everything. Oh my god. Get, uh, 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 all right, I'm done. Justin, number one. Well, I'm going to be mad at Jack. I'm gonna <laughs> yep, I knew it. Before. I knew it. I told this like five hours ago. No. I knew it. Just stab him to death. <laughs> enjoy every minute of it. Then I'm going to say you're wrong. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> what? What? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Justin, you're number one. It's actually City Escape. <laughs> Yeah. 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 I'm so stupid. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. From Sock Adventure 2? Well, it has to be Generations. Generations. Classic Cityscape. Yes. Alright. There's there's nothing more like that 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 is like the best incarnation of Cityscape. Not just for all the improvements, but like for the music as well. It's like that is like the perfect blend of like warm creamy like deliciousness and like it, it, it makes me come buckets and I, I fill up 12 every day every time I play so ah, yeah this is coming from the guy who puts <laughs> only metal albums on his top metal list damn it and it's I forgot to mention something song. about Mystic Cave I was too busy coming buckets uh, yeah it's, it's a techno remix okay baby my, my mind will never be understood Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, before um, before Landon says his one last thing I want to say about Mr. Cave is I like the, there's like difficulty okay. things that, before. It, it's just the thing in general about levels is that I typically, the reason why I don't have like a lot of late levels or a lot of early levels is I like levels that are like in between on difficulty. They're not too hard. They're not too easy, which is why I like Mr. Cave so much. But yeah, go ahead. Um, can you feel it? Yes, I knew it. Wait, can you feel are, it? Are, yes, I can feel it. Me? I can feel it. <laughs> I thought you I could, really. I could feel the sunshine. Can you feel the sunshine? Yes. Does it brighten up your day? Yes. In sunset <laughs> part, sometimes you just need to run away. Go to the sunshine. sunshine. Oh, we're, forget we're, about the rain. We were yeah. <laughs> thinking about the good times. We were singing. and they'll come back again. In Sunset Park. Yeah.
<laughs> no. No. No, actually. The, that, that's not on my list. I, I wanted wow. to fake you out. But uh, no, it's not on my list. It is Resort Island, because that's my favorite level from Sonic R, because they said I could put Sonic R levels on this. <laughs> and that's your, justification. Well, your justification for your number one was they said I could put Sonic R levels on this so this is my number they one they said I could do it so I did <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I, I probably wouldn't have if you guys didn't say yes you can put Sonic R levels because I would have thought okay I'll put actual levels but well, no okay it's Resort Island um, because I don't know there's like I don't know. Like, I guess from Sonic R levels, I really like exploring them, um, which is kind of counterintuitive from a racing game because you're supposed to be racing, but I can win races without, you know, really racing because, I don't know, sometimes the AI is kind of dumb. Plus, I understand the, the controls, so I don't have to worry about that shit. But um, Resort, Resort Island has, like, it's it's got so many different, like, areas, like, different areas to explore. It's not just like the other ones where it's kind of samey, 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 samey type areas. Like, uh, like Resort Island has sort of a ruins area, but then like there's the hill and then there's like a section under that hill. And then like, there's a small forest you can cut through and then there you can cut through, you can go like over these small little islands. And then like, there's a waterfall section you can go through. And I kind of like that, how it's got like all these different types of sections instead of like, it's a giant city with a road with a pinball area, or it's a set of ruins with a pyramid, or it's a factory, or it's rainbow road incarnated with awfulness. Um, no, it's, it's probably, I, I really love it. And uh, don't forget, yeah, don't it's forget Resort where, Island. Resort Island also has the very first 3D loop de loop in any Sonic game. It, it does. And you can completely does. skip around it. You can, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually recommended that you, <laughs> you skip, skip around, around it. Because it takes a lot of time. Yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, um, but it's, it's really fun. I don't know. I like Sonic Car, so, yeah. I mean. All right. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of done. That, is, that that's all of our number ones. That's all of our top twenties. You you guys have anything to say in closing? Hmm. Uh, let's hope Sonic Boom doesn't suck. Let's hope Sonic Boom doesn't suck. Yes, please, Sonic Boom, be a good game. If it has online, We're, expect a let's play of that. Expect a let's play with everybody. Um, maybe it's going to be sticks. Maybe next year we'll do another Sonic related list for Sonic's twenty fourth birthday. Who knows? You guys, we. Guys, we need a fifth person for sticks. Sticks. How do you even know she's going to be in the game? I don't know. She's... Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, you know there's a in, 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 in before she's so OP like Cream is in the advanced games. She's got a boomerang. Is that close to Cream? Or she's... Sure. Okay, whatever. We're done now. Bye. Yeah. Done now. Bye. Yeah.